Hello students, welcome to SAM classes. Today we will be solving previous year's questions. Now let's see the first question. Now by seeing this first question, you can say sir we can do this question very simply. We have done very similar questions like this in linear equation in two variables. Like when you have x plus 2y is equal to something and you have what do you say 2x plus y equal to something and you use elimination method. Correct. So same thing here students, nothing more, nothing different, very simple. Same treat the same matrices as variables, okay. And then you have 2a plus 3b equal to 2 minus 1, 4, 3, 2, 5. And the other equation is a plus 2b is equal to what, 5, 0, 3, 1, 6, 2. Now what do you want to do? I want to eliminate the a because I want to find b, okay. Try not to go eliminating b, go on eliminating a. Okay, because I need B. So now what I'll do, I'll multiply this whole thing equation with 2. So the moment I'll multiply, what I'll get? 2A plus 4B will be equal to double it. Now here a few people can do wrong. Students, try not to do this mistake. Whenever you multiply a scalar to a matrix, H, each and every element is multiplied, students, okay? Now, I've already given that example in the formula section. So if you have any doubt, go look over there. Okay, now, so 10 here, 0 here, 6 here, 2 here, 12 here, and 4 here. Now, we already have 2a plus 3b is equal to 2 minus 1, 4, 3, 2, and 5. Now, simply eliminate, subtract it. So, this is gone. 4b minus 3b is equal to what? b, and that is equal to, now, you, if you subtract the first line, what will you get? 6 minus 4, 2, 0 minus of minus 1, 1. 10 minus 2, 8. Now see, 8, 1, 2 is there repeating in first and second. So the option is either B or D. So we have to do a bit more. So 4 minus 5 is how much students? Minus 1. So you can, as you can see, this is B option. Correct? Now very simple question it was. I didn't go very fast. So what we did, even if they change question like this, they can give you like sometimes 4A plus 5B. You can just change the values here. Okay. The pattern, the concept will always remain same. Try to eliminate the other variable which they haven't asked and try to get the variable which they have asked. Okay, very simple. Nothing is there in this. Any doubt, put it on the comment section or on the doubt class. Okay, now let's see the next question. In the next question, we have a very simple question. They have given the order of A's 2 and 3. So write it down. Order of A is what? 2 and 3. Order of B is 3 and 2. Order of C is 3 and 3. Now they are telling that which of the following is not defined. So basically we have to use what formula they have to use students? The concept of multiplication. Okay. When two matrix can be multiplied. So two matrix can be multiplied if the column of first will be equal to the row of second. Column of first will be equal to the row of second. Always say and do it. Column of first equal to row of second. Okay students. Column of first equal to row of second. Okay. So here now I'll check one by one each options. So can C and B be multiplied? So C put it first 3 cross 3 and B 3 cross 2. So if you see column of first and row of second correct, they can be multiplied. Now after that when you multiply these two, what will be the order generated? This and this. Okay. So the C B will have an order of 3 cross 2. Now can it be added with A transpose? So let's find A transpose. A transpose is what? What is the row order of A transpose? Just interchange. So, if it is 2 cross 3, then it will be 3 cross 2. So, here also write 3 cross 2. So, now, same order, matrices can be added, students. Very simple. If two matrices are of same order, we can add them. So, first option is correct, so it is not wrong. Now, coming to third, B, A, C. So, write down what? B, A, and C, write down their order. So, what is B? 3 cross 2. What is A? 2 cross 3. And what is C? 3 cross 3. So, now, C, A, and C can be multiplied? Yes. B, L, A, yes. Correct. So BSE is possible. Very simple. I wrote all the three matrices, all the three orders, and I checked column of second equal to column of first equal to row of second. Column of first equal to row of second. Okay? Simple. Just use this formula, column of first equal to row of second. Now coming to the third one. This is transpose here, students. Okay? Now what do you have? A plus B, tra B transpose. So B transpose is what, student? 2 cross 3. Okay? So A is what? 2 cross 3. And B transpose is also 2 cross 3. So we can add them. Very simple. Now, if I do the whole transpose, what I get students? This whole thing will be nothing but 3 cross 2. 
Now, can I multiply with C? What is my C? 3 cross 3. If you see this and this, what? Same column of first equal to row of second. So, this is also possible. Now, what do you have to check? Fourth. So, since I know all three is correct, so answer will be fourth. I can mark. Or if you want to check, you can see it also. C is what? 3 cross 3. And A and B, just now I showed the order is 2 cross 3. Correct. So, can I, is this possible? 3 and 2 not equal. Column of first is not equal to the row of second. So, not possible students. Okay. Clear? Anybody? Any doubt? Put it on the comment section. Okay. And I will try to give a hint in the comments only. And uh, if any uh, further doubts, okay, you can ping it in the WhatsApp group. And if you have more further doubts, still it is not clear. We'll have a live doubt session next upcoming Sunday. So don't worry, we'll clarify. Do send all your doubts. We'll clarify each and every question in detail till you are clarified, okay? Now coming to the next part, the third question. Now how to find the inverse? I'll give you a very simple, tricky formula. Directly you use that, you can get it, okay? Now inverse, we already know the formula. A inverse equal to what? Adjoint of A by dt. Now this is first method, okay? So now if you see, even if I don't want, if I, even if I don't remember other formulas, this is one of the method. I just find the determinant of A. What is determinant of A? I haven't taught till now, but still, what is it? You already know, so I'm just telling it. This top minus bottom, 3 into minus 2. So what do you have students? 5 plus 6, so basically 11. So A inverse will be nothing but whatever the adjoint matrix will get by 11. So we have only one option, so we can take like that. Okay, we don't have to solve everything. That is one method to solve it. Now what about the other method students? What else we can apply here? Now, one more formula what you have for the inverse part is <coughs> A inverse directly. If A is equal to, note down this formula, A, B, C and D. Directly you can write A inverse is equal to 1 by A, D minus B, C into minus D, A minus B minus C. Okay? Now, what we have did here, we have interchanged the leading diagonal and we have multiplied the non-leading diagonal with minus 1. So I had A, B, B, C. So adjoint if I want to find it out, it will be what? D, A, interchange these two. Correct. Interchange these two. And the non-leading one, this one, you multiply with minus 1. Okay. And we know determinant value of A is what? A, D minus B, C. That's it. So this is the other inverse formula which you can use if they give you values very similar. Like 1 by 11 is common in all of them. Then you can use this one. Otherwise, this one is more easy. Directly without doing much, you can solve the question. Okay. Our target is to save the time. As much as time, we can save it. Okay. Now, still anybody has any doubt, put it on the comment section. Check it on the, you can send a message on the WhatsApp group. The link will be given in the description. And you can put a message in the website also. Link also will be given for the website also. And in, after that also, if it is not clear, I'll make sure it is clarified in the doubt session. So don't worry, work hard, okay, with full dedication and work smart. So these are the two tricks you can do fast, you can do, uh, what do you say, easily. Nothing tough is here, okay. Next question. Now here, this is pretty old kind of question, which comes here, we can't use much of the tricks. So we have a matrix A, and it is 1, minus 3, 2, and K. So what do you have to do? You have to first find A square, minus 4A, and 10I. This is I, okay? And then you have to solve it. So, what you can do, bring this A this side. So, the whole equation will be A square minus 5A plus 10I is equal to what? Let do. Correct. Now, solve it. So, A square, you can solve it separately. I'm doing it fast way. A cross A. You already know the multiplication. If anybody has any doubt, you can check the previous video where I've shown the multiplication part, okay? Now, here, I'll go a bit fast. Now, for the students, we're not able to understand how it is going a bit fast. You can pause it and go and check it. Okay. So what do you do? Take first row, first column, multiply them, and you will be generating something like this. What is your one minus six? So and then minus three minus three k. Here you will be getting two plus two k. Now minus six plus k square. Okay. So any silly mistake? Do ignore or do you can comment also? Okay. So what we will get is here. Now, with this, I'll just add directly. Now, students, a lot of students will have doubts, sir, what to do with that to take plus, minus, and directly do. So, we already got A square value. Okay. 
So what I'll do, I'll get a square multiply with 5 into a and 10 times of a, i. Okay. So a square is 5 minus 3 minus 3k, 2 plus 2k and minus 6 plus k square. Now what will be my minus 5a? I'll write plus and minus 5 I'll multiply inside. Okay. So it becomes more simpler in addition. So minus 5 plus 15 minus 10 minus 5k. And the other one, last one is 10 times i. So 10 times of i means what? Unit matrix 0, 1. So 10, 0, 0, 10. Okay. Add it up all. So if you add it up, I don't have to add each and every. What I'll do? I'll take a square term and I'll use it and I'll solve a formal equation. Okay. So basically here, a lot of students will do different, different methods. Okay. But I'll tell you which method to take it. So let's see. 5 and 5 will be cancelled. So we'll be getting just 10 here. Okay. Now here we'll be getting minus 3 and 15 and 10. So 25 minus 3, 22 minus 3k. Here we'll be getting, uh, what do you say? 2 plus 2k minus 10. So minus 8 plus 2k. And here we'll be getting k square minus 5k minus uh, plus 4. Correct. Now we'll take this one square. Don't take the other because here we'll get only one value of k students. So very important. We need to take the quadratic part and this is equal to a zero matrix. Okay. Because it is zero here. So take this one and just solve it. I'm solving it here. So what do you get? k square minus 5k plus 4 equal to zero. So if you see, we already know the splitting of middle term. So it will be what? k minus 4 into k minus 1 equal to zero. So k will be either equal to 4 or 1. Clear. So the answer will be C. So that's why I haven't taken, I could have taken other part also students where I would have got something. We have to check. We got one second students. 3K. Okay. We got 15 here. We got minus 3. So 12. Okay. Here we have 0. So this one is 12. So, so if you would have taken this value and solved, you would have just got K equal to 4. Not K equal to 4 and 1 both. So always when there is a quadratic Take the quadratic or if it is a higher order polynomial like a cubic. Okay. Go for the cubic and from there you derive the roots. Okay. So you'll get much better answer and you'll be in a much better position to put out the option. Okay. Now, anybody any doubt? Again, WhatsApp group is there. Website is there and we'll have a doubt sessions. So you can ping in all these three. Okay. Now coming to the next question students. Again, inverse question. Nothing much you have to do. A is equal to what? 1, 2, 3, 4, directly what we'll do? A inverse is equal to what? 1 by AD minus BC into what I gave you the formula? D, interchange with D, B and what is the, what will be here? Think of it students. So you'll be interchanging it. Minus B and minus C. Done. Okay. So formula should be on fingertips. Okay. You should not be delayed. Because time is of the essence, very less time will be there. Okay. Now put the values. The moment you will put 1 by 80 minus BC is equal to what? 4 minus 6. So minus half you are getting here. Minus half and one determinant. Okay. So what will be the answer? Minus half and a determinant. Come on, you can see the options directly. Okay. Now sometimes, very rare case, they can put a minus and take common. Okay. They can do that also. So in that case scenario, what do you have to do? Check full. Okay. So in that case, what will be option here? 4, 1, and then here minus 3, minus 2. So the answer will be C. Clear? So you could have done directly also here the method I told you. A inverse is equal to adjoint of A by data. Just by getting the data value, you can check. Okay. Sometimes if the matrix is seeing like very similar, only minus difference is there. So check the upper one also, students. Okay. In that case, they can trick you there. Okay. So very important part here. Okay. Now, let's see the next question. Now, A and B are two square matrix. So A, again, B, both are square matrix. Okay. Now, what is given? They are of both same order. And AB is given as equal to B. And B is given as equal to A. Now, they are telling you to find A square plus B square. Now, by common sense, what you can do? What you can do here? A square can be written as what? A into A. And B square can be written as what? B into B. That's it. Simple. Now, what you're going to do is take this A and open it up. Now, what you'll write? A is equal to what? B A. So, A into B A. 
and this b is equal to what ab so b into ab okay the moment you write this what you will get now open this up ab a and b a b okay and plus is there students okay now ab is equal to what students ab is equal to what come on come on come on fast ab is equal to b and a is already there so b a this ab is equal to b okay let's change the color and this b a is equal to a so a dot b now again we know ab is equal to what b this and b a is equal to a so this b is equal to a and this ab is equal to b so a square plus b square is nothing but a plus b so very simple don't get confused okay step by step you do it you will get it okay any doubt put in the chat comment section or you can put it in the whatsapp group or when we'll be doing a live class you can ask there also now coming to the next question a very simple question but again a bit lengthy sometimes matrices question can be lengthy so you have to do a bit fast again here you have to here you have to find a square so find it pretty fast okay i won't be showing the a square i know that now most of you people you know how to find the a square correct now so a square will find it out what about x a same thing just multiply the x okay just like we used to write k a x a will be equal to what same thing 3x 2x x and x each and every element will be multiplied by x okay so a square plus x a plus y i Okay, that is the unit matrix equal to zero. So a square, I am directly putting the value. Okay, so a square, what I am getting? Eleven. This into this, so nine plus two, eleven. Okay, and eight. This into this. Now, then this into this, so three plus one, four, and this into this, so two plus one, three. Okay, plus three x, two x, x, x plus y i, so y zero zero y. Okay. So you all know this. Now we'll just take one or two equations. We'll make two variables are there. So we'll try to form two equations and we can solve it. So what are you going to do? 11 plus 3x plus y is equal to zero. That is our first equation. Now we'll try to find one which is not involving y. So what we'll do? This one you will take 4 plus x is equal to zero. So x equal to directly you got minus 4. Put it here, students. 11 minus 12 plus y is equal to zero. So y is equal to what? 11 minus 12 is how much? Minus 1. So it's that side one. So 1 comma 4. Check the answer. 1 comma 4. Done. Sorry. 1 comma minus 4. 1 comma minus 4. Because x is what? Minus 4. Don't do simple mistakes like this. Okay. Once you have written the answer, check it what you are marking. A lot of times you mark the wrong answer, and then later it is a very difficult situation. Okay. Now coming to the next question. A very simple. Again, what is written in the question? We'll try to analyze first. Always use the strategy of divide and rule. Let's written to the, see the question what they've written, break it into small parts, and you'll be able to solve the question. So A and B both again given as square matrix. Okay, A and B both given as square matrix. Now, and then they have given that they have of same order such that A plus B into A minus B is equal to A square minus B square. So let's solve this one. Plain simple. Don't get confused. Plain simple multiplication. A into A. A square, A minus A B, A dot B plus B dot A minus B square, and that is equal to what? A square minus B square. Correct. Any doubt here, students? Correct. Any doubt here? Now a lot of people say A dot B and B dot A same. So normally we have done variable say x y is equal to y x, and we cancel it. Nah, don't do it. It is matrix. You can't do it like that. Okay. So what you'll get sent that side? A dot B will be equal to B dot A. So by solving this, we got a dot b is equal to b dot a. Now what to do? Let's apply in the part what is as arcs. Okay. So a b a inverse whole power square. Correct. That they have given it to us. So what we are going to do? Now we already know a b is equal to what students b a. So can I write b a a inverse? Okay, whole square. What I have done? This a b was already by solving the previous step. I got A B was equal to B A, so I just substituted the A B as B A. Now why I did? So what I'll do is B I'll take it like this, and A dot A inverse I already know is what two into one by two is what students one. So same thing A dot A inverse is what I and B dot I unit matrix is B only. So square so B dot I 
So that is whole square. Again, b dot i is what? b only. So b square is equal to b square. So that is the answer C. Very simply we got it. Don't get frustrated. Don't get what you say. Too much panic. Okay. Very simple steps are there. Nothing complicated in these questions. Okay. Matrix is pretty simple. Now coming to the next question. Friend. Now what they have given. Again understand A. They have given it is symmetric. So the moment they say symmetric. Write it down. A and B both symmetric. It means A transpose equal to A and B transpose equal to B. So this much we know by here. Now what they are asking. This spatial formula I already gave. When you have two symmetric matrices. If you add them you get symmetric only. Now if you subtract them will you get symmetric. I will say yes I have given this as a cheat sheet also. There you can see if you subtract them also then you will get symmetric. Somebody can question sir how sir. Can you show A minus B whole transpose can be written as what? A transpose minus B transpose. Just now you wrote A transpose is what? A only and B transpose is what? B. So A minus B whole transpose is what? A minus B only. So symmetric. Now here place AB plus BA. Let's see this one. So AB plus BA what it will be? Symmetric or skew symmetric. Transpose the whole thing. Don't get scared. Okay. Whenever even if we have a big thing, transpose the whole thing. So what will happen? AB whole transpose plus BA whole transpose. That's it. Now in multiplication we know that the last term comes first. First the last term comes first. So B transpose A transpose plus A transpose B transpose. So we already know they are symmetric. So B transpose is what? B. A transpose is A. A transpose is A and B transpose is B. So we got same thing AB plus BA. So this is also what students? Symmetric. Now let's see the last one. Since we have solved all three and all three is correct. So the last one has to be wrong. So we can do by that also. Or we can check also. Let's see. So AB minus BA whole transpose will do it. Whenever they say that find out whether it is symmetric or not. What you do just hold, do the whole transpose. So what will happen? AB whole transpose minus BA whole transpose. Now what will happen? Again you, when they are in multiplication the second term will come first. So B transpose A transpose minus A transpose B transpose. Correct. So what you will get? BA minus AB. Now if you take negative common what you will get? AB minus BA. So what do you see that this whole matrix is equal to when you transpose it you get minus of that. Means this whole part if I take it as P P transpose is what? Minus P. So it is what? Skew symmetric strength. What is it? Skew symmetric where the transpose is equal to minus of that matrix. Okay. Now coming to the next question. Students, let's see the last one. Inverse of a diagonal non-singular singular matrix. Inverse of a diagonal non-singular matrix. So understand, we have to find what? Inverse of a diagonal and which is non-singular. So what do you mean by non-singular? Whose determinant value is not equal to zero. That is non-singular. Because if it was singular, inverse wouldn't exist. First case. Now understand, there is a cheat sheet for this. If you have a matrix like this, A0, 0, 0, 0, A0, or a diagonal matrix, okay. Now what you can do, if I want to find the inverse of this, directly you can write, I don't have to show, there is a theorem for this, directly you can write, it will be 1 by A, 0, 0, 0, 1 by A, 0, 0, 0, 1 by A. You can use this trick, in all the questions you can use it, okay. If the matrix is of the form A, 0, 0, 0, B, 0, and 0, 0, C, what you can use it? You can you get it as 1 by A, 0, 0, 0, 1 by B, 0, 0, 0, 1 by C. Okay. So directly you can do it. If somebody needs the proof for the PU, later we'll provide that also. It's very simple. But as of now, for your KCD, you don't need the proof. So the answer will be, if I want to find the inverse of a diagonal matrix, it will always be a diagonal only. Okay. So if A is a diagonal matrix, okay. If A is a diagonal matrix student, keep it in mind, A inverse has to be diagonal if debt of A is not equal to 0. Means if it is non-singular. If it is non-singular. Now, we'll be coming live very soon students. Okay. Any doubts? Put it on the comment section. Okay. Do like, share and subscribe. Put it on the comment section. Join the WhatsApp group for more updates and the latest PYQ sections and the Question papers, make a short note of these, solve them on your own, see if you have any doubt, 
any step after each step ask yourself why i'm doing the next step if you're getting any doubt do ask me on the live sessions okay i'll explain you how to do it and why are we doing the next step okay and you can put your own short notes in the websites also we'll check we'll evaluate and if anything we can contribute to make it more good we'll uh, put a remark on that also okay thank you